Hi, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee, and this is a quick deck unboxing, first look at ex exploration of the Pulp Girls Tarot deck. Um, I pre-ordered this before it came out, and then for some reason I cancelled the pre-order. Um, and I'm kind of glad I did because I went on to Amazon this week. And whereas previously it was like 14 15 or anywhere up to £20, I can't remember how much it was. It was only £9.86 or something crazy like that. Um, it was under £10 and I was like, oh my God, is that one of those copy versions? And I thought, it said it was delivered from Amazon. So I was like, I will take a punt. And actually it was, it is the deck. I can't believe it. It is the genuine deck because there are so many on Amazon, Etsy, all of them. There are so many fraudulent decks. And when it turned up as a genuine one, I nearly fainted. So it was worth taking the risk. Sometimes it's worth it. So this is the Pulp Girls Tarot deck. And I don't know if you can see, there is this holographic, but like the proper like 90s holographic with like the bits to it. Um, the fizzy kind of looking holographic. I love it. And then obviously the infinity symbol has it on there as well. Um, so yeah, 78 card deck. As you can see, it's a genuine box. I'm so thrilled. <laughs> so thrilled i cannot tell you it's by rock point press so rock point as a publishers so um we have um the pulp deck obviously it's come from amazon so there are slight little scuffs that come as part of getting a deck from amazon they don't always wrap things the best um there you go it should have been 16.99 in the uk and i got it for nine pounds something so i'm really thrilled with that so Tap into your intuition and connect with your inner self. The Pulp Girls Tarot deck will guide you through the major and minor arcana with powerful affirmations, reflections and gorgeous artwork to help you on your spiritual journey. Learn how to properly read the cards and about common card spreads. Simplified card meanings mean deciphering each card's message easy, easily, make, oh, make deciphering card <laughs> each card's message easy tell me it's mercury retrograde without telling me anyway um look within and use your magical tools to steer you on the right direction this kit includes a 96 page booklet wow 78 page it love beautifully illustrated cards filled with pulp art and i am here for it so as you can see we have this ribbon to pull everything out I love me a ribbon in a box. Oh, and it's got the bottom that has the ribbon attached. Oh, I like that. There's this gorgeous purple shade inside. I love it. So, pulp deck, it is actually got, has actually got plastic wrap. So I have bought my trusty scissors, as I always do to unboxings now, to unwrap the plastic, which is fine. That's Most decks do it. Most A lot of decks have the wrappers on. A lot of try, I've just done um, Trinity Tarot that has zero plastic but obviously I don't know how mass produced that was so I will have a look at the guidebook afterwards I always have a look second at the guidebook let's have a look at these cards so they are by the look of it matte cardstock um they are quite thin cards which may explain why they are under 20 pounds however oh they are bending a little bit but you can put them back Normal tarot size though, traditional tarot size. So let's have a look at the artwork. So we have the Fool, the Magician, the High Priestess. I love this Pulp Girls little thing in the corner. Very reminiscent of Pixie. Uh, the Empress, the Emperor. Pixie is Pamela Coleman Smith. Sorry, the artist of the Rider Waite Smith the original artist of the Rider Waite Smith deck. Um, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, Strength, the Hermit, oh my god I want her whole outfit, the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, the Hanged One, I want those dungies, Death, Temperance, beautiful, I love all of this. The Devil, The Tower, The Star, beautiful. That's given me Tina Turner, The Moon, The Sun, Judgment, The World. And we have the Ace of Wands, 
the two of wands oh my god i love that those boots the three of wands the four of wands there's actually two women in the original deck as well fun fact uh five of wands the six of wands the seven of wands the eight the nine the ten the page the knight of wands beautiful the queen and the king then we have the ace of pentacles the two yes cowgirl three of pentacles yes i love this the four i'm really excited i don't know what i was expecting but and this is what i was expecting but i'm excited five of pentacles the six the seven the eight the nine and the ten the page the knight the queen oh beautiful and the king of pentacles stunning the ace of swords the two of swords the three the four five six seven the eight the nine wow the ten the page of swords yes i love this the knight the queen and the king the ace of cups the two of cups the three the four five oh, six yes seven the eight oh my god yes nine yes ten the page of cups the knight of cups oh my god i want that outfit the queen of cups of course she's a mermaid and the king of cups i love the see-through chiffony shoulders let's have a look see how it shuffles it shuffles beautifully it's quite loose it's quite open the card stock as i said it was relatively thin i wouldn't say it's any thinner really than the witch's tarot um and actually it feels solid as a deck even though the cardstock's quite thin sorry that's me not the deck i just broke, just can't do it um although it's quite a thin cardstock it does seem to be popping back into shape so um it's beautiful it's beautiful it doesn't feel clumpy it doesn't feel like they're sticking together um sometimes a deck can feel like that that it's clumping um but this one doesn't seem to be Let's just give it one more riffle. There we go. It feels nice. It feels like it'll move around it itself. I say that. It does feel a little slightly clumpy, but not anything that isn't going to go away anytime soon. It's just, it's a new deck. Sometimes you have to use the deck for a bit before it kind of unsticks completely. And you've got to think most of the time these have been die cut together. So if the die is slightly blunt, sometimes it pushes the cards together a little bit they have a slight lip on them these don't feel like that though they do feel just like they will eventually there you go start moving individually they are now a couple of little clumps here and there but it will ease off they look they come away really easily individually they're just they will get there they will get there just a little bit of a play with them but it's nothing that that you can't work with so let's have a look at the guidebook i love how tight this book feels before i open it i feel like when i open it it's going to go crack like that <laughs> like you've separated something so the pulp girls tarot guidebook beautiful strength Im image there oh it's color yes so reading the cards and deck energy preparing for a reading choosing a spread sorry a helicopter the air ambulance is going over three cards spread cross spread reading your cards major arcana so it has a pitch color picture in the thing quick little um phrase and then reflection questions love it affirmation okay if you're 
an affirmation person. Uh, upright and reversed affirmations are always helpful. I don't mean to be negative. I'm just very anti-spiritual bypassing at the moment. Um, so we have the magician, the high priestess. Obviously, it goes through all the cards in the mages. And then we go into the minor arcana. And so it describes the suits there. And then we go into the Ace of Wands. And they are treated the same as the Major Arcana. I love that because sometimes it changes. Wands, Pentacles. Each one has its own colour on the page. Alternating between red and yellowy orange. There we go. And there's all the descriptions. So I love it. I love the little flowers on the back. I love it. It's cute. I love it. It's like, I don't know. There's something 90s grunge about it, even though it's not. Um, I love it. I love it. So that is the Pulp Girls Tarot deck. Really good if you want something uh, more female centric, um, playful, free. There's a liberation kind of energy to it as well. Um, and you want the traditional imagery, but in a less jarring colour scheme, but while maintaining the symbolism and the feel of the traditional Rider Waite Smith that Pixie created. Pamela Pixie Coleman Smith created. It's a really good deck. And if if you can get it for around the £10 mark, that is as cheap. That's probably cheaper than buying a Rider Waite Smith. So even at the £16.99 price, price point, it's a really good deck. I mean, I, it's a really good choice, especially if you're looking to begin, but you don't want the stuffiness. It's got a very similar feel to um, the Modern Witch Tarot in the sense that it has the imagery there. It's it's a more diverse, female-centric deck. This is more of a grungy, muddier undertone to it, the warmer, deeper fire colours. And the other is a brighter, um, what I would call a bright pastel um, vibrant pastel kind of colour plate. So the two together have a very similar energy, but the, the tones and the way that it's carried out are, give it slightly different feelings. This this gives me 90s, like I'm going to put Nirvana on and, and sit throwing cards or <laughs> it's that kind of, you know, stick on a bit of blur and it's really given me 90s indie brick pop, like British grungy Brit indie, it's it's beautiful. I might even put on a bit of Mint Royale or something. But anyway, or garbage. But anyway, it's it's deck and it's beautiful. Um, so yeah, if it resonates, absolutely, I recommend going and getting it. Um, hopefully, this has been useful. As always, ask me questions down below if you want to. I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.